Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Nigerverse here once again, and this is going to be another discussion video. So, um, as of, of technically yesterday, because it's 1 in the morning, almost 1.30 in the morning as I'm recording this, uh, WWE has officially unveiled a new world championship. So let's talk about it. it uh, brand new. WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So the explanation, which I actually didn't watch Raw, but I kind of caught some of the highlights. Um, but the explanation for this is because Roman's on the SmackDown brand, um, or gonna be assigned to one brand in the draft. Um, they're unveiling a new World Championship for, uh, I guess, whatever brand uh, Roman is not drafted to. So if Roman uh, does stay on SmackDown. The title is obviously going to go to Raw and uh, vice versa. So, oh, uh, introducing a new world championship. So now both shows are back to having a world champion for the first time in uh, over a year. Um, so right off the bat, uh, the things we're going to talk about in this video, we're going to talk about A, the championship itself, like the design and everything, how it looks. But also, uh, we're going to be talking about some of the implications uh, behind it and my thoughts uh, behind introducing this new championship and everything. Um, so right off the bat, um, having um, having like a world champion for or, uh, Raw while Roman's on SmackDown holding both titles, it, this is something that has been discussed for a little while now. Um, they've been talking about it uh, where USA was uh, pretty upset at, uh, that uh, there wasn't a world champion for the Raw brand, and um, because Roman, even though he does hold both world titles, which are now going to be combined into one, and, um, uh, so I guess uh, just the uh, Universal Championship, or it might still be called the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship, but um, but uh, uh, yeah, USA was pretty frustrated about not having a world champion for the Raw brand, which does make sense because. As, uh, it's not the first time it's happened on Raw where the world champion has been um, persona non grata, uh, more famously when Brock Lesnar, or, or uh, even Go uh, uh, more so, uh, kind of Goldberg, yeah, but, also, but more so Brock Lesnar uh, uh, held the Universal Championship and um, pretty much uh, left town with it. It was gone for a while, so the war so the mid card title which uh, at the time was the Intercontinental Championship, might as well have been the World Championship. Uh, and uh, the fact that Roman's now doing the same thing, I guess uh, they want to change things up, which is funny considering Roman gave Brock Lesnar all kinds of crap for doing the, the exact same thing he's now doing. Funny how that works out. But, um, yeah, yeah, but um, back to having uh, two World Champions uh, for the brand... Uh, or two world champions, I should say, uh, in WWE. Uh, now, starting with the championship design itself, uh, reception to it is kind of mixed. Uh, we have, have how it looks uh, on Raw, and then we got the replica version, which, it, wow, uh, that was quick. Uh, literally having a replica version um, on WWE Shop the same day they announced this world title. I think even within like the same hour, which is crazy, but... Um, but seeing how it looks here, um, it looks okay, like, on one hand, so, sorry, I just have to close my door there, on one hand, I can kind of see what they're going for, kind of going for, like, the shape, and some, and a lot of those, like, uh, cool design aspects and everything of, like, the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, the big gold belt, oh, the big gold beautiful World Heavyweight Championship, absolutely gorgeous looking title, well, and, um, and I get that, I wanted to have that, and it still has, like, the side plates and everything, the custom side plates, which, um, I've never really been opposed to, who, uh, the fact that, yeah, the custom side plates for, or, uh, the holder of the championship, I think, is a pretty cool move, a pretty smart move, but at the same time, um, on the other hand, with this championship, uh, something about it, it kind of feels off and looks a little weird. And I think it might be the centerpiece, which the centerpiece is the WWE logo. Oh, um, oh, which actually, uh, so actually if you can see here, you see 
the uh, WWE uh, World Championship here. Or, uh, you see, like, the side plates and everything. And, and then you see, like, the centerpiece here. Or, and you can also see it, like, here. Uh, that design for it, um, I, I do, like I said, I do appreciate kind of what they're going for here, and I can appreciate the intent, but I feel like it does come off looking, like, a little bit weird, having, like, the big WWE logo just, like, plastered in the center, like, kind of throws it off, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, it, so, yeah, uh, might take a little bit of getting used to, um, might, uh, uh, my, might take some warming up too, which uh, not uncommon for championships, uh, especially in WWE. Thankfully, it's not as bad as say like the red Universal Championship belt that they then had to replace with the blue Universal Championship belt. Which, in my opinion, the blue championship, though not as good as like the regular black WWE Championship, the blue one looks way better than the red one. Um, a lot easier on the eyes. And I think it's because blue is like a cool color, and when you know red is more of like a warm color. Uh, of course, the warm colors like red, orange, and, and yellow. You know, the cool colors, of course, blue, purple, green, uh, things like that. And I feel like uh, having too much of like the warm color or, um, makes it a bit too flashy, a bit too standout-ish, which sometimes does work, but in that case, uh, it, it didn't really work out. Meanwhile, having the cool color uh, is a lot easier to look at, had, uh, easier on the eyes, that is, to look at. But... Um, yeah, as for the World Championship itself, I think it looks okay. It might take some uh, warming up to, or some getting used to. Ooh, and, um, and so yeah, that's the championship design, but the question is, who's going to hold it? it? Who's going to be the first person to hold this championship belt? Now, there are some names that's been thrown around. Uh, some people, a lot of people actually said Seth Rollins, which honestly... I wouldn't mind seeing another world championship run on uh, Seth Rollins. De dude's definitely earned it. It uh, definitely he, uh, doing some phenomenal stuff, um, working his tail off uh, in the company and everything. And even just like in this past year alone, putting over guys like Cody Rhodes and Matt Riddle and uh, stuff like that. And so he, he definitely would have earned it. Uh, some people said Finn Balor, which it would be kind of poetic considering Finn Balor was the first Universal Championship, so not the first time he's helped usher in like a new world title. Uh, some people said Cody Rhodes, how this might be like Cody Rhodes' consolation prize, is, but there are still a lot of people who object this, saying they want Cody to be the one to beat Roman, and um, which I I can understand, and that's that thing is understandable. Um, me personally, who do I want to see win it? Um, honestly, I wouldn't mind Rollins. Uh, Balor, I think, would be pretty cool. And Cody, I think, would also be pretty cool. Well, although, um, uh, although oh, him finally getting, getting his revenge against Roman and finally giving Roman his comeuppance uh, uh, against the uh, capturing the Universal Championship, I should say, uh, I think would be pretty cool. Plus, oh, plus, uh, uh, plus, um, uh, this could potentially mean Cody goes to SmackDown, which uh, would be cool to see Cody on the blue brand. But, um, uh, so so yeah. Um, but also, also uh, think in a thought I had in the back of my mind, similar to what they did with uh, Finn Balor. Uh, speaking of Finn Balor, as I mentioned him, um, speaking of what they did with Finn Balor, I think having like someone who hasn't been world champion hold uh, that belt, I think. Uh, would add a lot of prestige, not just to their career, but to the championship's legitimacy and uh, its legacy. He obviously, the legacy has to start somewhere, and and um, it actually, and this the first champion is actually going to be crowned at a Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia in, I believe, a month or so. Oh, but um, so we'll wait and see who's going to be the first world champion. And but. Uh, you definitely do want a strong contender for like your first world champion with this uh, new championship, with this new world championship being introduced. And uh, like I said, when they did it with Finn Balor, even though he sadly got injured, or um, and had to relinquish it, I think that was a pretty wise choice. And then, and uh, for one strong potential world champion to another, as Kevin Owens ended up winning it, which also Kevin Owens I wouldn't mind seeing, but uh, he's in the you know tag team and everything with Sami Zayn. 
You know, but uh, exciting to see who will capture this world championship. Some people uh, made like the joke oh, that Roman's gonna go after this title too, which, which honestly they could probably they probably could and probably might uh, work into the storyline where Roman tries to be like, hmm, that's a good looking world championship. Let me, let me slide in there. And let me get that. But <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, not the case. But yeah, so I'm interested to see. But let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to be uh, the first world champion for the WWE? Uh, I think they're calling it the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, if I'm not mistaken. And yep, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which, um, which if you remember, was the name of like the other uh, uh, the other time they unified the titles when uh, the WWE and World Heavyweight Championships were combined, and the World Heavyweight Championship was retired right, for a little while. It was called the WWE World Heavyweight Championship before they just dropped the heavyweight and just called it the WWE Championship. But, yeah, so, well, um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to start this lineage for this new World Championship. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops, and I will see you guys later. Peace.